hi guys in this video um, I will show you how you can bring data from github into power bi or excel this means github will be the source of your data set and you will want to bring all of this data to power bi or excel first let's quickly discuss on what is github basically github is an internet hosting software development and version control you can share you can use it as a, to store and mainly you use it for version control of your code it's a free tool often developer programmer they are using some code to develop their application or their, soft, their software. And they want to collaborate and they want to share and they want to get feedbacks from other developer to improve their code. And what they do, they put their code in GitHub so that other developer can comment, can make modifications and can even suggest some um, way of or, or some way of doing it better. So really good help allow you to share, improve, and get feedback from, from order. And once you agree on the improvement, you can basically merge your code with the suggestion of, of order developer but github also can be used to store data set so that means while you're working for example on a data analysis project and you develop code for example using python to do your analysis or through r to do your analysis you can also attach your data set to your projects so that order contributors or the programmer can see your data set and can make reference to your data set or can call your data set in your software for doing your analysis. What does that mean? It means that GitHub can be a good place for you to find data set. For example, in my case, I was recently working on a project and I wanted to do a map and I just wanted to have the GPS coordinate of every country in the world. So I went to GitHub and I found a data set and I bring my this data set in my Power BI and, and then Excel to do my analysis. Therefore, GitHub can be a good place for you to take a data set and bring it to either Power BI and Excel and do your nice dashboard. So that in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to bring data set that has been already put in GitHub and bring it to Power BI. Um, typically, the way that you would look for a data set in GitHub is through you know, a, a Google search. For example, in my case, if I want to look at the data set, the GPS coordinate of each country, I can just go in Google and type um, country GPS data GitHub. Typically, when I'm doing the search on Google, I, tap, I type what I want and then I add GitHub so that the in this, um, search engine will know where to go bring this data so in that case i would it would look in github and look data in gps and countries and once i'm done with that i have several um, suggestions from google search and i can take a look at all of them and i then i for example in my case i choose that one and once i'm i i want to i select this i click on it and it will automatically open the GitHub page where this data set is sitting for you. And you can see, for example, I this is the view of my data set here that I'm looking for. 
And you can see there's country, alpha code, alpha code three, numeric code, latitude, and longitude. This is what I wanted. So I have the name of the countries and the latitude and longitude. You can, you can scroll down. You can scroll up to take a look at this data set. Now that I think um, this is the data set I want, um, I need to get the URL of this data set so that I can plug it in Power BI or Excel. Well, you will be attempted to copy that URL, but this is not the URL for this data set. So to get the real URL for this data set, you have to click on row and it will open a page where the data set is in a format of CSV, comma, separated value. It is bring it is on that format, and you can see, for example, the first the first row here hmm, correspond to the column header that you had here, and then the 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 rest of these are the country. Um, um, for example, Afghanistan is a country name. AF is the alpha code 2, AFG is alpha code 3, 4 is the numeric code, 23 is the latitude, and 65 is the longitude. So I just wanted to explain you how this uh, show up here. And so it's basically a CSV format. All right, so now I just need to copy the URL or the path of my data set and I just do control C and then I open my Power BI and then I will get the data I will click on get data and scroll down to web because I have the URL um, path and I click the web and then I paste it and I leave it as basic once I finish to paste the URL on, on, on my from here, I will just click OK. All right, so you, you have a first view of the data set. And typically, I will not recommend you to automatically click on load because often what's going on with um, what happened uh, with um, data set sitting in GitHub. So when you import it in Power BI or Excel, there will be for sure some data cleaning, data shaping and transformation that you need to do so that um, you can finally do your dashboard. So I recommend you to do transform it, transform data, click transform. And it will open the Power Query editor for you. There you go, it is open in Power Query editor. So, but as you can see, um, my data sets still need to do, I still need to do some um, cleaning or shaping or transformation in my data. For example, you can see the name of the column is not column five, column six, or column four. The real name is, for example, for this column is latitude, but it is in the first row. So I will need to fix that. The second thing that I found, uh, I'm observing is that the column type is ABC. Like it is a string, like what we call alphanumeric. But I don't, I don't want this. I want this to be values because the latitude and longitude are, are numeric value. So I need to do this transformation. And the third thing that I'm looking is that my value uh, for now in double quote, which I don't want because when you want, will need to do your map, it will screw up. It will not recognize the three and the double quote. So we need to remove this double quote. Um, for now, I'm not going to um, show you how to do this because I intend to do another video to explicitly show you how to do this data transformation. But um, once you are finished with your data transformation and data um, cleaning, you just need to apply it. I'm cleaning apply it and then it will load it will take a little bit of time depending on the length of your data set um, see it's still running taking a little bit of time so 250 row have been um, 
imported. What's going on? All right, so my data set has been um, um, imported. So now I have my data set, my table here. So I click here to see my data set and you can still see now the data set uh, is, is on Power BI. If I want to see the different column, I can click here and I have column one, column two and column six. And as I said, we need to fix this, but this is not the purpose of this video. All right, guys, um, you can do the same thing. It is the same process working through um, using um, Excel. So you click on Excel, look for data. All right. And then look for from the web. And then it, it paste your URL and then click OK. And I, again, I will recommend you to do transform data. All right. So you can see that you have the same issue about um, um, the data type, um, the, the, the column header, and also the double quote. Um, so we'll do this another video on, on how to clean on, on shaping this data. But once you're done, you basically do the same thing here. You just close and load. And boom, your data set is from GitHub is in Excel in your local machine or in your computer. All right, um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. And I'm also putting uh, a link in, in this video, um, a link for accessing um, a, a document that we are basically showing you on how to do it it's you can use it as a reference and also if you like um, this video and you want to continue to follow me on youtube subscribe to my channel and write me or shoot me an email if you need if you want me to do a specific video for something on power bi excel python and um, data analysis all right i hope that you will enjoy um, um, we do this exercise and shoot me an email or anything and I will do my best to answer to your question. Take care.